Hey, what's up guys? John here. I'm in uh, Tokyo, Japan. The sumo wrestler right there. Pretty cool, right? This city is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna give you a walk and talk and kind of talk to you about what's unfolding in America, what's happening, and why I'm making some radical, radical changes to the channel as a whole. So they said inflation data came out and it was more stubborn than they anticipated. And Jerome Powell has a really big problem on his hands and essentially they're setting the stage to where there's not gonna be a rate cut. In fact, we could possibly see a scenario where rates continue to go up. We don't need to be in a hurry to cut. It means we can wait. I don't think rates will go back down to the very, very low levels they were at before the Now, I've talked about this on the channel and said, you know what, I do think there will not be a rate cut in 2024. I do believe we are gonna see some big problems coming to the economy, but I also believe that they're not gonna talk about it. Like, they're not gonna say, go out there on the media like they did in 2008 and say, you know what, look at the stock market, look at everything's crashing, the entire um, you know, world is in pro big problems, blah, blah. I don't think they're gonna be doing that. So I think what instead is gonna happen is they are going to, uh, they're going to just say everything is good. Everything is okay, everything is fine. And uh, you made me realize like, do I wanna be that guy that's gonna be out there saying, you know what, home sales are at a 35 year low, lowest since 1995, right, or 25 year low. Or do I want to go out there saying that, you know, repos are at all time highs, you know, great, great financial crisis, 2009 levels. Many Americans are having trouble making the monthly payments. Subprime borrowers were at least now 60 days late, it rose by 6.1% in September. That's the highest level since 1994. And, and just keep, you know, saying the same type of rhetoric, even though it's all factually true. Everything that I say, I say with, with facts, not based on an opinion at all. And I'll give my opinion on the facts, but I won't go out there and make a video based on my opinion, right? So what this made me realize is uh, that we're likely gonna see this in the next year or two, at a minimum. At a bare minimum, we're gonna see this in the next year or two. And then if that's the case, so I wanna go out here and put out videos talking about this in the next year or two. Now I'm gonna tell you, and also before I even be, uh, begin the video, please hit the like button, hit the like button, YouTube will share the content, educate more people about what's really going on in America and the world if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any issue at all in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. Take a look at this. So, Tokyo is absolutely stunning. Like, we'll, uh, we'll, walk, we'll walk down here. So, and one thing you'll realize is that even these bikes, they don't lock them up at all. There's no lock, there's no lock. People don't lock up their bikes. It looks like they just leave everything unlocked here. It's kind of like what you know America was probably like 50 years ago, 75 years ago when people leave their front door unlocked. Now, you know, people aren't doing that in America. Look at this, all these different bikes just unlocked. I think that's absolutely amazing. And it goes to show the testament of, you know, how Japan is running and how it's functioning, people feel safe, right? You, you uh, can't make it up. Like people feel safe. Every single individual is voting to not put a lock on their bike because they feel like they don't need it. You know, it's gotten so, it's so interesting because yesterday I was walking back from uh, a restaurant. I saw a five-year-old, a six-year-old, seven-year-old, you know, in, this, in that age group, four of them walking home from school in a, uh, it looked like a little uniform, like like a Catholic school uniform, even though it's not a Catholic school, but that type of that type of uniform, right? No parent, nobody's there, no one's there. Everyone is just uh, you know comfortable walking around. Like it's just absolutely, it's absolutely a beautiful thing. And so, what I think is going to happen in the economy is that we're going to just see this situation unfold for the, another year, two years. And I don't feel like sitting here talking about uh, what's gonna be going on or what's happening every single day, twice a day, about specific events that are unfolding or have unfolded in the economy. And uh, so I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, instead, what I'm gonna be doing is I think upgrading the channel in a really, really, really big way. And uh, I'll actually get one of these copies over here. They have these machines all over the place and I've yet to try one. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing I think I'm gonna, how cool is this? Do these all over.
Well, that's that is really good. Way better than Starbucks. But uh, so what I'm going to be doing instead is someone came up to me in uh, at Whole Foods, like maybe a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, and he came up. He's like, "Hey, uh, fan of your channel, like what you're doing." I'm like, "Oh, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it." Um, and he asked for our number. I was with my wife. He asked for our uh, number, and I was like, "Here, give me the office number." And um, and we went out to have coffee. Like maybe a week later, two weeks later, went and had coffee together. And then he told me he was in sales. I'm like, okay, cool. Like when when it makes sense and Great Credit Fast uh, scales up, because this is right as we were like kind of um, launching Great Credit Fast. Um, then, you know, we'll give you a call and then maybe you can help us run the sales team. They're like, very right, cool. Well, he's been working with us now for four months. Um, I took him to Costa Rica about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, but I was thinking about changing the content on the channel. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, so here, this is what we're going to be doing with the channel instead. I think it's going to be a really, really big value add and I think it's going to be a huge benefit to everybody. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be traveling. Well, it's actually gonna be three major changes to the channel. It's not just gonna be this um, travel content. We're gonna be going to the top 10 countries that have the highest quality of living, the highest living standards with the lowest cost of living in areas that are safe, like safe places where you can buy food almost directly from farmer or directly from the uh, provider in an area that is extremely affordable, that is accessible. People can actually just go fly in um, and it's easy to live there. And uh, yeah, overall, it's just gonna be a, a, a big, I think, in-demand avenue of content over the next year, because what we're likely gonna see is the cost of living continue to get a lot worse in America. And as the cost of living gets worse, people are gonna be looking for ways to save money looking for ways in which they can eat healthier for less bang on their buck, right? Or get more bang for their buck and eat healthier. And so what I think is going to happen is uh, people are going to look for that type of solution, that type of content. And so to be the one that could provide the content tailored specifically to their needs for free at no cost, I think it would be super cool. You know, one thing I've noticed a lot now on the channel is I'll see people like, I think it's actually kind of funny. I don't take offense to this, They'll take my entire subject line to the YouTube video, take my entire thumbnail and crop my head out of the, uh, out of the, um, the thumbnail and put their reaction over top of my face and just like completely bite the content. I'm like, it's kind of funny, but uh, it's actually a good thing because it just shows me that if someone can do that then I need to innovate further and I need to do something a lot better. So what we're gonna be doing is a lot of travel content and on top of that, two other big changes. The first is, uh, is we're going to be traveling to places like China and other locations that have smart cities where everything is basically hooked up on like retinal scans. Everything is going to be, you know, social credit, things like that. I believe that is coming to America. I believe without doubt it's going to happen in the next five years. And I believe those that are educated understand how it works and what's going on will you know, be better suited for the future. And so here's what I think is going to happen. I believe we're going to continue to see office vacancies rise in America. Interest rates are going to go higher than people anticipate. Insurance and taxes are going to continue to go up and, um, and deficits inside of cities are going to continue to grow. Look at LA right now, San Francisco, New York city, um, Baltimore, so like Chicago, all of these cities are pumping massive, massive deficits all the while bringing in millions of new people. So what's going to happen? These cities are going to find ways in which they need to cut those budgets. And how are they going to cut the budgets? Through tech. That's how they're going to do it. They're going to be cutting the budgets through tech. And so what I believe is going to happen is we're going to start seeing this big push where crime is going to get way out of control in these big cities. People are going to start demanding a solution. And that solution is going to just so happen to solve the, oh, the problem was got smoked on that. Um, it's going to, uh, solve the problem that the cities are going through right now, which is their financial implications of their budgets, right? So when you see all that, what is this going to equate to? A big change in America, right? So that's going to be the second channel. We're going to be going to these cities and see exactly how they work. And I'm, what's interesting is 
I had this inkling a year or two years ago that this was going to begin to happen where people's criminal history, their credit scores, people's, you know, their friend circles, all this is going to build out a profile of one's social credit score. And I believe that is going to become a really, really big thing. Like all those things are going to be like I've seen in, in China where people would have a problem uh, even getting on the bus, get, taking certain um, flights and things like that due to, you know, their social credit score. So learning about this, I think is going to be extremely important. And then the third is uh, China said that they're going to be mass producing cumulative robots in the, uh, in the following two years from now until 2027, two and a half years. And so many people, they hear that and like, okay, yeah, whatever. They've been talking about this for a long time. But what they said is they said they're going to produce a billion of them, one billion of these robots. And Elon Musk said by next year, humanoid robots will be smarter than all humans on Earth. And by 2027, all humans on Earth combined, or maybe it was 2029. Yeah, it might have been 2029, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's still, um, you know, <laughs> all humans combined, 8 billion people combined, this robot will still be... Uh, smarter now he said his version will be able to go shopping for you like grocery shopping running errands removing all boring and tedious tasks uh, repetitive task I believe was the word he used so you have all these things and then you and then uh, you see what what's happening they said they're gonna there's gonna be a billion of these walking around uh, in the next I think 15 years or 16 years and so if this happens you think about what the implications will be on the economy and what the implications will be in general. Now, I think it's one thing to read about these headlines because you just never know, right? But it's another thing to actually go visit these factories and see what these robots can actually do and interview the CEOs and get down to the brass tacks of actually how far along this really is. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be traveling to Malaysia, different countries to interview the CEOs of these companies to learn about this. So that's what i want the future of this channel to be future of the channel is going to be traveling to the best the best countries that are going to offer the highest quality of living at the lowest cost then also understanding smart cities and the technological innovations that are unfolding right now and then b is going to be based around uh interviewing extremely intelligent ceos and executives around companies that are going to change our future so <coughs> so when you see that type of content, I believe that content is going to supply a lot more value to everybody. Now, I'm still going to be providing updates about what's going on in the economy. Like, I'm still going to be doing that um, probably every day. But every week and a half, every two weeks, because it's going to take, it's going to be a lot more work to film these videos, traveling to these countries. I mean, our flight here to Japan was uh, 21 hours. 21 hours. So it's going to take more to film these videos. So we'll still be releasing them probably every week and a half. Two weeks we'll be dropping one of these videos. And one of those higher quality videos where there's like a lot more of a uh, production value. And, um, and then in addition to that, I'm also going to be talking a lot about credit card points, but not in a boring way where people hear credit card points, they don't know what, what that means. Like for example, we flew business class from JFK to, to uh, Tokyo with layover in Paris. The flight, if we were to buy it just outright with cash, $18,000. How insane is that? How many people can actually afford that? Nobody, right? Guess how much it was with credit card points. I paid $498 for mine, $498 for my wife. So $96, it was cheaper than economy. And we cashed in credit card points that we accumulated, right? Just on our everyday spend. So we cashed in credit card points plus the, you know, sub $1,000 we flew business class for freaking 21 hours. Or right, well, the total time was actually 25 hours. You had three hour layover in Paris, right, almost four hour layover in Paris. But um, yeah, for less than a thousand bucks. So people are out there, they're like, you know what? I got all these credit card points. Last thing you ever want to do is cash them in for, for the dollar value because you could travel the world and you could do it in style for, uh, for these credit card points that a lot of people don't understand how to use and how to leverage. So uh, I'm gonna be talking about exactly how I did it and the exact websites you can use. Um, you know, it's really, really simple. My buddy taught me, um, you know, how to, how to leverage it with uh, one specific website. 
So I'll, I'm going to tell everyone, and it's not like a sponsored video, I'll tell everyone how, how to do it. So if people want to travel and they want to cash in points and, and, uh, and do it in style, we're going to teach you that as well. So it's going to be a lot more value-based content based on the chain events that are unfolding and uh, to help people move forward. Let's have a conversation about this below and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And also, if you want to fix your credit to position yourself for what I believe is going to be a different type of world, you know, we'd love to help you. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any issue at all in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow and I'll catch you next video.